this book is so heavy. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today I want to talk about Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes. I am sorry if I'm butchering the name. <laughs> Don't know how to say it. It is a Spanish name. The book was also originally written in Spanish. This is a big one and I got it from the library because I didn't know if, if I was going to like it or not and it, I was too scared to order a copy. But in the meantime, I did order a copy of this book. Three volumes in Spanish that I cannot read, but I love this book so much and I needed to have the editions in its original language on my shelf. I have written down some notes about this book and I, I really want to share them with you. So Don Quixote is above all a very funny story. It follows uh, Don Quixote himself and his servant Sancho. This book really feels like reading a collection of short stories. It feels like reading episodes and we follow Don Quixote and Sancho and they bump into all kinds of people while they're on their adventure. The people that Don Quixote and Sancho are meeting are telling them their story and um, the stories are always very interesting to follow. Now, what makes the book really stand out from all other books is that Don Quixote is actually insane. And the reason for him being insane is because he has been reading too many chivalry romance novels, which is why at some point uh, Don Quixote decides he wants to be a knight and he is going to travel uh, the country with Sancho. Now because Don Quixote is so completely insane, um, it gives you some really funny moments in the book. I think this novel is also great for beginners in classic literature because the chapters are short, um, it is funny, it is easy to read, very accessible and I know it's a very big book, like it's 1,100 pages, this one, um, but it's actually two volumes in one. Now to give you guys a little background on the writer and on the work itself, this book is considered the first modern novel, which is very interesting. Miguel de Cervantes wrote the first part of this novel in 1605 and the sequel 10 years later in 1615. Now, the funny thing about this is I was listening to a podcast and I found this story so funny. The funny thing is that because Cervantes waited 10 years to write a sequel, um, some other author came out with the sequel himself. Now, Cervantes had like the most brilliant reaction to this author that he didn't know about writing the sequel of his story. So what did Cervantes do? He used the work of this author and made it ridiculous in his own sequel. This character comes up to Don Quixote and says, Oh, hey man, I've heard you've been on this adventure and this happened to you. And then Don Quixote answers, That's complete nonsense. None of that ever happened. And so Don Quixote constantly breaks down like the adventures, the so-called adventures that he should have had in this other book. And I, I was really happy that I found out about this before I started reading the second volume of this book. Something else I also discovered is tinting at windmills is an English saying and it actually comes and originates from Don Quixote. Tilting at windmills actually means attacking imaginary enemies. And I think it is so cool that this expression or this saying originates from this book. I enjoyed reading Don Quixote so much and I'm hoping for you to pick it up if you haven't read it yet. Let me know in the comments if this book is on your reading list or if you've already read it. I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.